What's going on guys? Rob from Clicks Geek and I uh, wanted to make this quick screen share video today. It's going to be a short one today, guys, just to kind of go over something that I was actually uh, laying in bed thinking about last night. I was thinking about work and, and this came up and I don't think I really touched on this too much. And that is for our local lead generation stuff, um, demographic targeting. Now, you might be asking, what the hell are you doing thinking about demographic targeting when you're laying in bed last night? Well, I'm a total weirdo and I'm obsessed with Google, so that's why. Now, <laughs> so there, there is a little, there, there is a little um, thing I should say here when it comes to demographic targeting. It's not always a great idea to mess around with this. So there's some niches where I think it can be really useful. And there's other niches where I think that it just should be, just don't even mess with it. Just leave it alone. So an example. A niche where I think it could be useful, right, is roofing. So you can go in and we can adjust and target based on age because obviously there's a low probability that someone who's 18 years old is owning a house that needs a roof, right? It's very low probability. We want to kind of send traffic that's only the highest probability of our target market. So before I get any further into that, and I'll give you some more examples, let's go into it and actually look at it. So if we go into your campaign, we're in a client's account right now, go to audiences, demographics. So you have three demographics here, household income, gender, and age, edit demographics, choose your ad group. So you can do this at the ad group level. So let's just go to our windshield replacement one. And it gives you some options here to play around with. All right. So here's what I'm saying when I, when I mean this is niche specific, if you want to mess around with demographics. So in this example, this is an auto glass repair client. I'm not, I'm not doing anything here. I'm really, I'm not going to mess around with any of these demographics because my a potential client for this niche, for this client could fall into any one of these demographics, right? Could be 18 and 24, could be 65 plus and uh, household income. It doesn't really matter. So I'm not messing around with that too much. And I wouldn't put too much faith in the household income guys. Because by only selecting top 10% or something like that, which a lot of people think like, oh, well, I only want to advertise people who have money. <clears throat> You're really severely limiting your pool. And not everyone who's searching Google who's ready to buy or ready or needs help immediately is going to be in the top 10% or they're going to be unknown, right? And all this means is Google is unsure. They don't know what their household income is. They don't know what their age is. They could be in private browser mode searching Google. They don't know their gender or anything like that. So you don't want to do anything like that. And that's just my opinion. Unless you're selling a super high-end product or something like that, then it makes sense to only go after the top tier um, household income. But this the example I gave, like roofing, right? Like, okay, so if we're running ads and we're trying to get people who need new roofs or, or roof repairs, guys, like, let's be realistic. 18, 24 years old, you're, you're probably still living in your parents' house or you're in college. You're not owning a house that needs roofing problems. And if you do, which is great, you're a very, 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 very small percentage of society. So it's best in that kind of situation to just uncheck it and we don't want to go after it. And um, that's just one example of how you can use demographic targeting to like refine your traffic down a little more. So this is an important thing to uh, think about, guys. And, and again, you got to take this on a niche by niche basis because it's not going to work for everything. So I'm trying to think of another one that might be a good one, like um, like male, female. Like what's a niche that's predominantly like male or female? Like something like that, like a makeup. Maybe if you're selling makeup or something. Like, yeah, some guys wear makeup, but it, again, it's a very, very, very small percentage of the population that does. So if you're selling like some kind of makeup or something, you might want to turn off male and I, probably unknown as well, right? And you only show your ads to female. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's kind of how you can use these as different levers to fine tune your traffic. So just something cool. It's it's very basic. Like I said, I was thinking about last night. I'm like, you know what? This would be a cool video to do because you can kind of put every campaign you build through the lens of, you know, um, okay, is there any demographics that I can do that I can um, target more specifically to hone into my traffic and make sure only my highest quality pool of people are seeing my ads. So keep that in mind when you guys are 
creating your Google Ads campaigns. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think about using demographic targeting. I know some people use it a lot. Some people don't use it really at all. Um, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think.